May I now request our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Sharma, President at Featherlight, to share his wisdom with our students and all of us. Yes, sir. Thank you. Namaste, distinguished leaders, faculty, and staff, and dear students. When this invite had come, I was just thinking around, going back to those 25 years back, getting into an environment of a college. And believe me, the excitement, the energy levels, what I have seen here, it was something a dream coming true. I think it was amazing to be a part of this evening and I loved it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run through certain narratives, certain incidents related to me and would make it open for you all. If you find something relevant, please pick them up. If you find slightly you're not sure of, leave it. I'm not going to charge for it. So this is just an open insights, which I wanted to just share with you all. And uh, I think just listen for a certain time. And I feel really privileged that you're all listening to me because there were the days when I always used to be part of that side, not here. Things are changing. So let me go back when I was, you know, as far as memories are concerned, when I was eight, I was in eighth standard. And what I remember was I was more associated with sports, moving around, playing around. And one fine day, my class teacher comes and says, hey, Satish, you need to read the news in front of the school assembly tomorrow. I was surprised. I said, madam, why me? What did I do? And for a day, I was just thinking around. And then I said, eventually, I'll go for it. And I'll read the news in front of school assembly. And then the feedback was, hey, he read the news nice, but the content could have been better. And of course, I borrowed the content from the friend. But what I'm trying to tell you is the chance what my school teacher gave me in the standard 10 became one of the founding inspiration for me to get into the crowd and talk to them what I feel. And relatively, then I just moved on certain cultural programs and then science exhibition. And when I look back, I feel unless that class teacher, Esther, would have given me a chance to come out openly and talk, possibly I wouldn't have actually tried for it. So what I'm trying to tell you is life gives you opportunities. They actually come up and knock your door, grab that opportunity. In career also, opportunities would open up. And especially when your colleague, your friends in the family, look forward something sharp in you, something different in you, and then ask, hey, why don't you do this? Don't give a deaf ear because they mean a lot because they feel that there is something special in this gentleman or the lady who can actually perform. Just go for it. I have been doing this. I do not know uh, how many of you remember when you were in standard 10th, your parents would say, hey, beta, you know, or bitty, just go ahead and get the good marks. Life becomes comfortable. You do it. You move to 12th. And then they say, hey, give your best. Life will become very easy for you. You go ahead and do it. Slowly, you land up in graduation. And then they still say, hey, exams are coming. Go and give your best. And it continues even in MBA post-graduation. And then you think, oh, is it going to stop here? No. It's going to start from here. So these are certain, you know, bottlenecks, which actually prepare ourselves to take the challenges, give those foundations, and then look forward for the life with an open arms, take the challenges and then go ahead. So this is something which the foundation, the schooling and the college and the entire faculty actually works with you all. People have been telling me 
how the career has been. So when I took maths, physics, chemistry in 11th and 12th, my parents were slightly skeptical. Hey, what is he going to do? Why doesn't he go for commerce? I went ahead, cleared an engineering exam. In those days, it was MSET in Andhra Pradesh. So I cleared, got a civil engineering seat. And I went ahead. I just thought what felt good for me, let me go for it. And then eventually going for MBA at FMS BHU, then from Hyderabad to BHU, then to Gurgaon to start my career. And then I started with campus recruitment. I got an opportunity even to teach at BIMTECH. Presently it's in Noida. Earlier it was in Push Vihar for MBA students. And then I realized it's a tough job. But then again, I got an opportunity at Godrej and I started my career there in Bhopal. Kept moving from Bhopal to Chennai, started with opportunities in the functions like sales, going to logistics, dispatching containers, going even to the shop floor, understanding how these three shifts work. We had at those times push strategy, then we looked forward for pull strategy. So everywhere the feeling was, let me just learn as I go around. Why I'm saying this is, there is no clear funda in terms of in success. You need to get attached to a function or to a place. Keep yourself open. Go embrace the new things, how the world is changing around. And you feel that you are enjoying it, go for it. It's not something that you need to be a part of a section or a function and throughout the year you need to be there. You can be as open in terms of embracing new things. So that's what I have been doing. And then I realized that economy was opening up. I wanted to become a part of global company. And at that time, the global leaders were coming into India. And I thought, oh, let's move on. So I got an opportunity to work with global leaders in the furniture industry. And uh, I enjoyed. At that time, I moved out of the comfort zone. Once upon a time, in 2008, my homes were in two cities. I was in Bangalore. The family was in Chennai. So that's how the life actually gives you the opportunity to move on. And I think one should actually move on what one feels good. It doesn't matter if you are holding out at a place or different places. Each individuals are different. So you need to be open for it, embrace the new things. And today I am a part of Featherlight, taking care of the sales and marketing for India and abroad. The other areas which come to my mind is when you get an opportunity to work in a corporate, look forward for the mentors who can really make a difference. In fact, three years back, I was in Mumbai. I went to my first manager. I said, sir, after going through 20 years of my career, I realized what amazing work you had done in recruiting me or giving the chance to me way back in 90s. And uh, you know, once you move on to career, go through the different challenges, you realize that there are so many facilitating forces which works with you to actually give those chance. So my recommendation is, as you are all going to start the career, it doesn't matter whether it's a startup or a corporate, look forward for those mentors who can actually, you know, give those insights and you really feel passionate about learning from them. It can be their conversation the knowledge, the way they think, the creativity, embrace those. But in the process, one can even get attached to a toxic environment or the culture. So be careful in terms of moving around in this phase, because if it starts hitting your health, you got to move out, right? But if you feel it's a temporary phase, hold on because the company is much bigger in terms of giving you the right culture to actually prosper. But I'm not making you, you know, think twice that the things would be different because I think you need to go up, open up your arms and look forward for the employers, which resonate your thinking today. When you look at the employers, right? You look at what are they thinking about the environment? What are they thinking about sustainability ways of working around? How are they looking forward for the products which can be manufactured and which are carbon positive? Are they trying to look forward for an inclusion? Are they making your 
environment of the office much open look at it because unless those things resonates with you you will not be able to give the best but again life is not only the job or the career it needs to be balanced when i say balanced look forward for the quality time you need to spend with your near and dear ones with your family members with your friends you need to take care of your health also as you are getting in you need to have a holistic approach look forward i think i was amazed when i saw the work what the team has been doing on the community work on the social work so i could actually relate that the time you have spent here has given you those thoughts to actually do not leave it here but continue even in the career even in the job in the passion which you are actually going to get attached in the near future so those were really good the other thing which uh, i wanted to share with you is there is no single yardstick for success there is no one size that fits all we are all different so it's not a race so whether the things which you are going to achieve by mm. moving around in different cities different parts of the globe may be one aspect of life the other aspect may be staying in a place doing certain social work and getting the satisfaction it can have different modes it doesn't matter so with this i wanted to share that last year when covid actually hit i started getting into and learning a new game tennis so last one year i learned that game and i realized that especially the stalwarts such as roger federer djokovic i mean the respect for them exponentially grew when you start knowing what do they do actually right so learning is never going to stop you need to keep embracing new things think about the job think about the career think about the sports think about the cultural aspects what you are seeing make it a part and parcel of your life as you are going along with this i would like to thanks all of you who are listening here i think you will do a wonderful job and uh, wish you all the best for a very successful and exciting career ahead stay safe jai hind thank you so much sir for those very very inspiring words hearing about your journey and all your experiences and what you've learned from them i'm sure our graduating students will certainly